Hello and welcome to my corner of the knitting world. Hello and welcome to my corner of the knitting world. My name is Ramona. I usually go by Mona or Rome. I am a knitter in Toronto, in Canada, and welcome to my little corner of the crafting world. I can be found at Ravelry as Mona Lee 81 uh, on Instagram, where I'm most active as Rome underscore Raven. I also have a blog that I'm going to work on trying to keep active. Um, it's called But I'm Knitting. At, sorry, let's try this again. But I'm Knitting. Dot blogger. Dot ca. Okay, if you see me constantly looking down, it's because I actually wrote everything out because I'm a nerd like that. Just to make sure I know what I'm saying. So I'll give a brief history of me. Um, I was always pretty crafty as a kid. I learned to knit because my dad would take me to work with him on PA days, like, you know, days off of school. And I went through a lot of office paper, making little paper or anything. And I guess to save on paper, he taught me how to knit instead. And, you know, I made little stuff. But then as you get older and you got new interest, you kind of forget and you don't pay attention to it anymore. So when I was older, probably in my mid-20s, uh, some ladies at my church decided to start up um, a domestic skills class classes. And one of those items, one of the options was for learning how to knit. And as I'm sitting down there watching them, I'm like, I kind of remember this stuff. And I went to Walmart. I bought my big old ball of green yarn. It's a pretty, really pretty color because I really like apple green. I got wooden needles, which I didn't even know existed. And I made myself a scarf. That looked like it had a bunch of holes, so I used to say it looked like Swiss cheese. Um, I could only make these things. I called it popcorn, which I later learned was really the garter stitch. And I didn't know how to finish the thing. But, you know, as you try again, you go to the store, you buy more stuff. Um, I even bought a book online, which is probably one of my first purchases that was not from eBay, called The Knit Stitch. Got all excited and went through the thing. I uh, accidentally left my knitting out. My dad got, a hand, got his hand on it and started knitting, which pretty much just showed me up because he knew how to uh, he knew how to do more and his just he was coming up with like lovely flat stitches that didn't just look like garter stitches anymore. And I, he tried to explain to me the concept of purling, but I still didn't get it. And I went back to my book and I flipped through all my pages and I could not figure out why I could not find, figure out. I could not find out what the purl stitch was until I realized the book really only dealt with one stitch. When they said the knit stitch, they were literal about the knit stitch. If I wanted to learn how to do the purl stitch, I had to buy the second book in the series, which really didn't seem that convenient to me. So I went to my local library for the first time. This was just after we had moved to the new house. And I went to the librarian and I asked, can you show me where the knitting section is? She showed me where it was. I went there, I got my books, came to the checkout desk, ready to, you know, check out my first knitting book. And she told me that there was a knitting circle that happened at that library. The only problem was I was thinking, I don't want to hang out with a bunch of senior citizens. I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie about it. I was really overly opinionated of myself. So I had uh, gone to, I thought about it for a couple weeks and then decided since I'm not doing anything on a Tuesday, let me go and, you know, see what it's like. Best decision I ever made. They are some of the funnest senior citizens I've ever hung out with. The closest person to my age was really the librarian. So I did stick by her quite a bit, but I enjoyed myself at the knitting circle very much, and I've always gone back every week. So here I am now at the knitting circle, sticking close to the librarian, because, you know, she's the closest that I got that I know. And you know, she stopped me, started me on little things like uh, learning how to knit in a circle. So I did a hat. I learned what circular needles were. That was like a ooh type of thing. And um, she decided it was trying to, time to introduce me to the greater knitting world, a.k.a. Ravelry. That was a big eye opener because it didn't, I didn't realize that uh, knitters were so technologically advanced. Like, wow. But I, I signed up for my account, and she decided after that we were going to learn how to knit socks. No, I was going to learn how to knit socks. She already knew. So the first thing she said, we're not doing a basic sock and knit sock because you're going to get bored out of your mind. We're going to go for something with a pattern. And what the pattern that she gave me to do was the cookie A socks called the monkey socks. This is at the time when it was available on knitty.com, and I think it still is, but I'm not sure. So... 
here. I actually got my sock blocker just so I can show you my first pair of socks. One, two. I was so proud of these. They're a little bit big, but they still fit. And I wear them all the time. So the yarn I got for that one, that was my first shopping experience at a, at a local yarn shop called Romney, which is in downtown Toronto. It's one of the ones I frequent. Um, it's called Fog, Fog Haltbar. I assume it's German or from somewhere around there, but the colorway is called Loop Color. Um, I was very excited. <laughs> I really liked it, and it started me on my life, not my lifelong, my love of knitting socks. I have knit a lot of them. I don't have a final count, but maybe by my next episode I'll actually count them all and actually let people know. So let's go on to my other things. So I'm going to start with my works in progress right now. I've got two pairs of socks that I'm currently working on. One of them is one I got the yarn from uh, No Makers. I was very excited about this one because I have never I, up until this year, I had never owned anything from No Makers. So I got the Castiel. I like the colors of it. So, well, colors. Tones, I guess. So, here it is. Hold on. No, first, let me show you the yarn. I won the, the 50 gram skeins, and my ball winder is not exactly the greatest, so it always looks like it barfed. But it's got blacks and grays, cream and white. And it's a variegated. It's not, it's not self-striping. And for the cuffs, right now, I'm using this color. I have no idea what it is. It's from one of my leftovers from something else that I've done. I don't think it was a wool mise, but I really don't remember where I got this yarn from. Didn't keep labels for it. So, I'm doing them two at a time on my... Which yarn? Which needles are these again? My, uh... I forgot, and I use them all the time for DPNs. Yeah, I'm kind of forgetful. Um, these are my carbons circular on a size 0 US, which is a 2.0 millimeter, which is my preferred size for sock knitting, especially for myself. So this is the way that they are turning out, and I'm loving it. It actually makes me think of a newspaper. And oh yeah, for the Castiel, it's based on Supernatural, but I'm only on season 2, so I know the character exists, but I have no idea what he does. So yeah, works for me. So I'm working lovely, nicely on those. And the bag that it's sitting in, this one, hold on, is from the Knitter's Nook. And it is based on Firefly with Jane, because he's one of my favorite characters from that. This was, I got from uh, the Penguin Soup. She had a uh, three month, um, what do they call him again? Well, you know, you, you pay in advance, you get different, you get like three skeins of yarn, and one of the bonus gifts was a, a bag. So this one came from, it was done by Creations on Ely, and her shop is called, is on Etsy, and it's called The Knitter's Nook. I love it. She has some really nice stitch markers in there, but I don't have any with me to, to show. And my next project is a very belated, is not, well, it's not really a belated birthday gift, but, um, for my cousin's 19th birthday, I didn't have any money, so I gave her a gift certificate for a pair of socks, and this year she decided to claim them. So my hope is to have them finished before her birthday party. Her birthday was last week. Her birthday party is this upcoming Saturday, and I'm hoping to get them done. I already have one done. She's got very long feet, right? So I have the stitch markers that mark off the beginning of the heel flap and the where the toe goes. This one was a yarn from, um, uh, it was from Knit Picks. I can't remember the exact colorway because I think I threw out the tag for it, but I did not have enough to do a second sock and she was determined. She said she'll pick a different one, so she picked another skein of my Hawthorne yarn, yarn from Knit Picks. This colorway though, this one I know because I just wound off the yarn, it's called Vancouver. I must say, I really like their colors. My ball winder sucks because this does not look like what a nice caked ball of yarn is supposed to look like, but whatever. <laughs> I have two bags that I'm keeping this in. This one is from Sue from the Two Tangle Skeins. She made this one for me. I love it. 
She is uh, on Etsy at the Tangle Skein CA. And this bag is a Doctor Who bag. Like, apparently a lot of my bags are. This one is by uh, Stitched by Jessalou. Yeah, if you can see it right there. I got this a while ago. I don't really remember when. Uh, and then, I'm going to be quick about this. Um, so that's it for my current knitting projects that I am dealing with. I have other stuff, but that can wait till next time. And so one of the other things I wanted to quickly talk about was um, my new ventures into dyeing yarn. I actually have fun doing it. So there are things I've tried, like uh, this one is the leftover from a project I did last year in January. I dyed this one with food coloring, and I think the yarn was from Knit Picks. I think it was probably straw. So it belongs to the hat that I practically live in. This is a socket hat, so I decided I might as well show it off since I wear it all the time. And yeah, um, other things I've dyed. Last year I dyed my first skein of self striping yarn, so it looks a little bit washed out, but it's my first time using acid dyes, and I think this just came out of the wash, and it may have shrunk. Maybe I should have been a bit more gentle with it. Oh well. So you can see it's a cell striping that I made. The pattern I did, let me put it on the sock blocker. The pattern I did was one called the Groovy Socks. Uh, it makes a zigzag pattern going all the way down, but with the way my stripes are, it kind of looks like a checkerboard unless it's on your foot. It looks pretty cool. I really like it. And I did alternate colors for the green for the heel and for the toe that was dyed, and I was very successful with that one, quite happy. And the other two things I dyed were these two skates. I decided I wanted to do self striping again. It wasn't easy this time. Um, so this one and this one, you'd be surprised to know, are the same colors. Um, this part and this part are what makes up the stripes on this skein. So I haven't used them yet. I'm anxious to do it, and I will soon, but I have to finish what I currently have on the needles. So I will get around to that at some point. But the other major thing I wanted to talk about was my sock blankie. While I was knitting socks, I had a lot of leftovers that I had to get rid of. So I saw online that somebody had done a sock blanket. So I decided I might as well do one too. So currently, you can't even see it all right now. It's one of to fit a queen size bed right now. Uh, so I'll just do a quick pass through of everything I have so far. If you can see it. Okay, so for this one, I've been working on it since 2013. I think that's when I cast on for it. And I have to check to see my current amount of layers. Which I will show off. I'm tracking it in my bullet journal right here. So this is as of like, you know, soon. Um, so last check was 367 plus what I'll have by the end of this month which is another 31 squares because I'm doing a square a day. And I'm not certain how much that comes to, but I'm pretty certain it's almost, if not over 400 squares. I've done quite a bit. Hi, Grandpa. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So that will probably be the only thing that will see regular progress, which is my squares. But after, as I show everybody my blanket, I have to show some of my favorite squares on this thing. Mm, hold on, gotta find it first. Ah, it's quite big. Oh yeah, the back side looks absolutely horrible. I'm still working on it. So this one here, I use leftovers from different projects that I had, but I call it my Ode to Jamaica square. I love it. 
Um, let's see. Where is that other one that I really like? Oh, this is from a pair of socks I, I did from um, Desert Fister Dye Works. This is Somebody Loves You. I love that one. Uh, what other yarn do I have on here that I really, really like? Hold on. There's the one that I used for a pair of socks, self-striping socks that I got from uh, Ginny at Penguin Soup. I loved it so much. But then I decided I was going to do an afterthought heel, and the heel didn't quite go where it was supposed to. And it became too, shall we say, um, ill-fitted. But it fit my baby sister perfectly. So she now has it, and the only memory I have of this is a square in the blanket that I apparently cannot find right now. But even though I saw it when I was passing through the first time, this is probably an orange from it too, you know. But I have no idea where it is. It's on here. It's like a, it matches, there it is, this one here. It matches Jane's hat from Firefly. So it goes with the bag. The same colors you see in the bag right here, the same colors that are in that square. So I've got a lot of them. So for the year of 2017, this was my starting square. And I've gone basically from here all the way across and working my way back and forth. So I've gotten... One, two, three. I think of, is it 25 for that one, for that row? I think so. And then 24 on the other ones in between. Because it's like row of 25, then a row of 24, then a row of 25, and all of that kind of stuff. And at the ends, I am doing these lovely black triangles. So eventually, when I finish, it will be, would it be considered square? Because it's going to be a rectangle, but eh, that's okay. Either way, so that is me and my knitting. And I pretty much figured that this was going to be short, and I'd like to keep it that way. So that's it. Bye.